more water in the pot, dumping it, and then doing it all over again. So that saved my water. Ew, you Lime. can still see the little clump in there. Next time, come on. Okay, I haven't, I'm in complete, utter shock. Um, okay. Chef Ryan Sal here, not your typical chef. And today I'm gonna be reacting to Uncle Roger Review, Cheapest Woman Ever. Before I go on with today's video, I do wanna give a shout out to all of my amazing sous chef level patrons. You guys, along with all the patrons, really do make a huge difference on this channel. And for those of you who are watching and wanna do more than click liking and subscribing, please consider becoming a patron. Be sure to visit the link in the description below. By becoming a patron, you get to take advantage of some awesome perks like early access to new videos, but also patron exclusive content. I love saving Money. My nephew Nigel show Uncle Roger this video. Extreme cheapskate. Let's see if I can learn any money saving hack. I've heard of this show, and every time I hear that name, just cracks me up. <laughs> Gonna save this. She's saving the dust from the dryer. I collect lint from the dryer. First off, because it's clean. Secondly, I don't have to buy cotton swabs. What? You're using lint as cotton wow. swab? Lint is dust and thick skin from your shirt. It's not clean at all. So I use it to remove my nail polish, my makeup. I'm using and, them. And you use on your face? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow. Hey. I, I mean, if you think about it, you clean, you wash your laundry, you put it into the dryer, the, you know, it, as it dries, it creates all this lint and the, the fan sucks it up, puts it through this filter. Technically it's clean. I personally would never do that, but holy shit, talk about going. Ugh, you see how speechless I am? <laughs> talk about the lengths you'll go to to save money. Hey man, Penny saved is a penny earned. Nicho, just starting. Already so crazy. Where it gonna go? First of all, I didn't know that this was a TLC video that he's reacting to. As you guys know, this is called Pro Chef Reacts. I already started it, so I'm not gonna stop now, but I thought this was gonna be more food centric. I know there's a food part, but I'm, I'm, yeah, I have no idea where this is going. Stephanie has countless money saving tactics. By using just one light bulb that she moves from room to room, she saves more than $60 a month on her electric bill. Wow. So, is this real? One light bulb. Nee, Stephanie, you know you can have different light bulbs for different rooms. Just don't turn them on. It's like she's living in 1800 time and just carrying around <laughs> light bulb like lantern. Hiya. Stephanie has a wow. good job. Okay, who this guy talking? She does have a lot of money saved up. She doesn't want to spend... Boyfriend? <laughs> this woman have boyfriend? She behave like this and have boyfriend? <laughs> how is Uncle Roger still single? Is this how good her pussy is? <laughs> You're willing to be with women with one light bulb? Sorry, children. <laughs> really sorry, children. Oh, okay. Um, I... <laughs> I think I'm gonna fast forward this to get to some of the food stuff because this is a Pro Chef Reacts video. I will say this, as someone who's been on television before, they always embellish, they always dramatize more than it really is. There's always a, a little bit of truth to everything that goes on in these videos, but oftentimes it's definitely embellished. So this is pretty crazy. I don't know how much I buy this about the shower thing though, <laughs> the light bulb and the lint. <laughs> <laughs> to clean your face though, that's that's crazy. Okay, we're getting to this some cooking now. This is my reusable boiling water. This is my reusable boiling water. Reusable boiling water. That is sentence Uncle Holy Roger crap. never here in life before. Yes, I know it may be a little chunky, but it chunky. saves me from spending more. I hope she's not drinking chunky water. I hope this just for a watering plant or something. Yes, I know it may be a little chunky, but it saves me from spending more money on my water bill. Oh my God. How oh, would she break pasta? Like how Jamie Oliver <laughs> break tofu? My long lost <laughs> Italian cousin, Ooh, Cio Ruggiero, that is gonna say, Manaja, she break the pasta. <laughs> Manaja is Italian version of Haya. 
water and put more water in the pot, dumping it, and then doing it all over again. So that saved my water. Ew, you Love. can still see the little clump in there. Next time, come on. Okay, I haven't, I'm in complete, utter shock. Um, okay, here are a few things I could think of that could go very wrong with that. That was a very little water to that quantity of pasta, just from what I observed. To me, that tells me she's been doing this a while, especially from how cloudy it was. It comes from all the starch. I'm concerned about foodborne illness here. Now, when you bring something to a boil, you are killing off any bacteria and viruses, okay? However, it's the cool down period between when it was boiling to when it's cold enough that you can store it in your fridge, or even if you took it from hot and stored it in your fridge, which I would not recommend. There's so much going on here. There is a period between 140 degrees and 40 degrees. That's called the danger zone, okay? That is when uh, bacteria and viruses and all that stuff multiply exponentially, and that's where it could get very dangerous. Unless you took this water and cooled it very rapidly and you minimize that window for the danger zone, then you will also minim minimize any pathogens. And then if you put it in the fridge, if you don't use that right away and bring it back to a boil again, again, even though it's in the fridge, Things will, things still spoil in your fridge. It just slows it down. 40 degrees and below, you, all these bacteria and pathogens do slow down reproducing, but they still reproduce regardless. Uh, now, if it's in a airtight seal, if it's in a can or um, or a vacuum seal bag, that's a different story. Then, you know, it can last much, much longer. But yeah, that can get very dangerous. From a chef's point of view, observing this, number one, we would never do this in restaurants because you, it would be so hard to control the va variables, even if this was a technique worth doing to just save a few cents, because every time you boil it, you're changing the composition. You need consistency when you're cooking in a restaurant. Every dish, why do people go back to a place? Because they know they can get a certain level of consistency. They wanna have that dish again, right? And you can only serve that level of consistency if all the variables are the same. So using, you know, fresh, clean water every single time rather than like, oh, this water is a three batch, you know, pasta water. This is a four batch pasta water. It is gonna create variables. Oh my gosh, she's feeding her children. Yeah. I don't understand. If you want to save money, don't have children. <laughs> children so expensive. That's true. And she have two kids, two. Why don't you sell one of your kids, trade her in for extra light bulb? Never ask that again. Is it good? Huh? It is? These children won't get COVID. Their immune system <laughs> indestructible. You eat all your food? Yeah. Well, whatever you don't eat, I'm gonna say. Okay, Ooh. saving food good. Uncle Roger likes to save food too. Every food and drink what? that we what? have in this house. What is she doing? Wow. She's putting sauce big back no -no. into the big, big, sauce big no -no. jar. No bueno. No, no bueno. I mean, you're doing it within the own confines of your home. Sure, do whatever you want. But, you know, you're putting this on television for everyone to see. If 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 anyone at a restaurant did that and the health department caught wind of it, you are getting shut down really, really fast. Once something has left its original packaging, you can't put it back in. Perfect example I'll give you of a story, a lady that owned the Chinese restaurant I've mentioned many times that I accidentally took over. When we were taking over, we were just you know having dinner one day and she told us this story about how there was one time someone ordered a glass of wine. They decided not to have that glass of wine. So she took it back, grabbed the funnel and poured it back into the bottle. Just so happened that person who ordered that glass of red wine. Uh, she worked for the health department and almost shut them down on the spot. Yeah, once, you can't do that. If it's poured out, you can't put it back in. Big no-no, even if it's untouched. You are potentially taking a sanitary batch of product and introducing a multitude of variables that could that could make the product go off and potentially get someone sick. And especially considering uh, that product has been around these kids mouths or her boyfriend or her mouth your mouth your skin the surface of your skin has a lot of bacteria and viruses it's just that we have an immune system that can fight it off and we don't get sick from it but when you introduce it into a jar of spaghetti sauce for example or a bottle of um, salad dressing these things have everything that bacteria and viruses need to reproduce moisture food source and 
air. These are the three main things that these bacteria and viruses need to reproduce. And again, like, that's just extremely unsafe. Just put in Tupperware, but she tried to save the yeah, sauce too. Yeah. If, it if you get wanted all to save le up, leftovers, I agree. Put it in Tupperware get and eat it yourself. That's so dirty. Everybody mouth touched the food yes. and you put back into Jahaya. This video like my marriage. <laughs> it keep getting worse. She's been too cheap. There's no room in Stephanie's world for extra expenses, including entertaining mm. guests. Patrick really wants to have a football party. I am very unhappy about people coming over to our house. Trust me, Miss Stephanie, your guests unhappy to come <laughs> over also. I really begged her to have people over and... <sighs> Having people over to the house means Stephanie's pockets are getting dug into, <laughs> and I do not like that. You wanted this party. You know how things go in our house. Come on. No. Visitors. I think this is acted. To they, this is the show, in my opinion, wanting to, and I do still plan to react to my um, episode of Beat Bobby Flay. So, you know, but I'm going to do that at 100K subscribers. For those of you who are watching and want to see this happen, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Television producers definitely do things, throw things in there to dramatize it. And I think this is a scenario that they asked to happen. Maybe I do have more to add to this than just the food perspective this football and she's party driving game. a yukon one of the most gas guzzling cars in existence <laughs> i definitely agree living with a budget this is something my wife had to teach me i mentioned in the past that uh my wife is very thrifty she definitely taught me a thing or two about better money management i definitely think it's a smart thing to be on a budget but there's definitely such thing as too much of a good thing for sure <laughs> When I buy fruits and vegetables, I want to pay for what I eat, not for what I don't eat. There's no need to pay for the vine if all I'm eating is the grapes. There's no need to pay for the vine. If so she's just plucking grape and weighing them. That'll do me justice. Probably only need about three of these. My bananas? I'm not going to eat the whole of the banana. I eat the banana. No way. She no, peeling no, no, no. banana in shop itself. By removing the peels, pits, and stems from fruits and vegetables before they're weighed holy in the register. Holy Okay. But holy shit. <laughs> That's way too far regardless, even if you do pay it by the pound. Wow. I mean, listen, once you remove the banana out from the peel, it's going to start to degrade very fast. So you basically need to eat it within the same day. Unless you do eat it the same day, I think it defeats the purpose. But every time you want a banana, you need to go to the supermarket and peel it before you pay for it. Uh, you know, now it's like diminishing returns how much are you really saving and how much are you inconveniencing yourself losing time and then you're driving in that fucking gas guzzling car you see how she looked at her earlier that's the same face we make when we see a man with a girlfriend too young for him yes yeah, seriously yes ma'am what can i do for you i'm going to be making a lasagna oh no yeah i mean this is all in my opinion dramatized for them to film in those this location they need to get a sign off for them to disturb the staff they need to have it signed off for them to show that dude's face they need to have a sign off on it so all these people that appeared in this video authorize their use so there was some this is not candid this is not as reality as it seems by any chance if you have any other ground beef that's already left over it's all sold we sell it on a daily basis fresh all the time okay and so there's nothing that would expire with ground meat uh it's very common that uh especially in the old days i haven't seen it as much lately but when you buy the packages of ground meat they always take the older stuff and wrap it with fresher stuff. I remember that as a kid and uh, my parents would always be like, this market is terrible. Again, I haven't seen that in a while, actually. I think either, you know, FDA or something uh, probably cracked down on that or the health departments cracked down on that because the ground meat that they put in is all oxidized. So it's no longer brilliant red, but technically still okay to eat. So they would mix it in there. Again, they would just take the oxidized stuff, the brown stuff and just literally wrap it with fresh, uh, fresh meat. Man, we don't sell expired products. Why you want to buy expired meat? Show me woman who like to put old expired meat in mouth and I show you gold digger dating older guy who about to die. 
Wow. Cooking ground beef. Where the onion? Where the celery and carrot? I'm going to stretch out the beef by adding the rest of this oh. or whatever's left from this. <laughs> Ew. What the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uncle Roger's freaking out. It certainly doesn't look pretty, but you can buy ground beef blends with a higher fat percentage that's cheaper. So she didn't need to do this at all. Now she says she's stretching it out. I really do think this is just a dramatization. I think if she was really going to the supermarket, she wouldn't go through that trouble. She'd probably just find a cheaper blend of beef that's more like 80-20 or 70-30, something like that. Like I said, I think it's a dramatization. But you know, Uncle Roger's freaking out about here. It certainly doesn't look look pretty however you know a5 wagyu beef well actually before I, <laughs> i'm not saying this is the same thing this and a5 wagyu beef is not the same thing but let me backtrack a little bit fat is flavor hands down more fat you have in there the more satiating the food product is it's very common to add in another source of fat whether it's olive oil or whether you're cooking with lard it's to enhance the flavor and now let's look at something like a5 wagyu beef which has tons of fat that's marbled within the protein itself and it is achieved through all kinds of crazy means of raising the animal and blah 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 right i'm not going to get into detail about that so fat is revered fat is a always appreciated and loved. And many times, especially when people aren't watching out on their diet, when you go to have a braised short rib, for example, or a steak, these really savory items, typically the thing you like about it is its fat content. So if anything, I think that beef fat will make this lasagna better, granted greasier. It's not too outlandish. I think this is purely a dramatization. And finally, my last point on this is, uh, I don't even think a lady that cheap would go this far. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Again, I think this is all just drama for T TV and, you know, TLC. Uh, the Learning Channel isn't exactly revered for like it's, you know, A plus, you know, super authentic uh, television programming. Clumpy water, clumpy beef fat, clumpy everything. She like clump? Stretch it out for the lasagna. Stretch out for lasagna. You know. Wow, that's what. <laughs> By supplementing the meat with. <laughs> That's a lot. That is way too much. And also that pan is way too small. You're overcrowding the pan. Oh, there's so much so wrong here. Even though I just spent like 10 minutes explaining to you why it may be okay, but oh. If she put in like a quarter of that, I'd be semi-okay semi with it. But that's just, ooh. <laughs> you save money, but you lose dignity. Yeah. <laughs> This is why we save the sauce. Oh my oh, fuck. god, now she's that putting recycled that fucking sauce. Bacteria Don't tell me sauce. this was she gonna lasagna. feed to a guest. Oh my god. Also, somebody tell this woman, if you want to save money, make your own tomato sauce. Yeah, Don't seriously. Buy canned yes, tomato sauce. actually, very good point. All of Joshua Wiseman's but cheaper videos that I shit on, which again, I'm not shitting on, I'm just saying that what he's presenting you is purely food cost. If she wants to save money and she has the time, she should absolutely be making her own sauce from scratch and she would save a ton of money. And you know what? Go get the seconds, you know, the, the shitty tomato from your local fruit stand or like, you know, not the big box supermarket places, they will always have boxes or cases of second, you know, like second stuff that you can't put onto the display. Usually they, it has its own section or you can ask a manager to, for it. It's stuff that's like busted open or bruised or possibly some stuff that's just starting to mold. Like you could totally grab up that stuff and make sauce out of it. No problem. You know, obviously you don't want to put the mold in there, but just giving you an example. I, uh, it tastes better and won't have other people's saliva on it. <laughs> now to save money, I multitask. Uh oh. With washing dishes and cooking meals with my dishwasher. I just Dish make sure I wrap. Dishwasher. Oh fuck. She says she makes sure she wraps with a lot of foil. Foil is expensive. Okay. Um, this is a lot of diminishing returns. <sighs> With the dish, she's gonna put temperature. No, 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 don't, don't. The lasagna I just will be fully cooked in happen. one and a half hours, without using the additional gas no. of an oven. Wow, wow. Okay, um, yeah. I mean, again, I think this is 
dramatization. I have a shot every time I say this is a television dramatization. Yeah, number one, that's super fucking dangerous. That dishwasher, the temperature of the water is going to bring that lasagna right into the danger zone. Sure, it may melt the cheese. Yes, everything is cooked. You saw the pasta sheets were cooked and all that stuff. Sure, if it's consumed immediately after it comes out of the dishwasher, because you basically have a four hour window for a food product to be in the danger zone for it to still be safe to consume. After that four hours, you need to toss out that product. It's going to be in the dishwasher at most, what, hour, hour and a half? Sure. So you have another three hours if it's served immediately. But again, it, this is this is a dramatization. This is just to yeah, make it the 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 show more shocking. Maybe she really does do this. I don't know. You are wasting a lot of money wrapping up, wrapping this thing up in so much foil and sure, like it's efficient in some ways, but you already have this sauce with people's saliva back into it. It's probably sat in the fridge for a day or two, and you're about to put it into the danger zone for another hour to an hour and a half, and it may not get served right away. This is really a recipe for foodborne illness and getting people very sick. Maybe she did this a million times and it was totally fine, but it only takes once for things to go really wrong. So don't ever take that chance. Uncle Roger speechless. There's gonna be dish soap in there. The dish soap gonna go into your lasagna. Uncle Roger's so upset. I put my leg down from chair high. Uh... Well, I might put these dishes in here while I'm Oh my god. Washer and it's cooking. Fish, hot dogs, lasagna, I'm telling you. And she's so proud of herself. <laughs> if everything came fresh from the package and she did this, maybe. I still think it has very diminishing returns because you're spending so much money wrapping up the foil. Who knows? She may save the fucking foil. Although it did look like a fresh box of foil that she was using, which again leads me to believe that this is a dramatization for a television show, because if she really was that authentically cheap, and if she did this technique often, I would not be surprised if she had multiple old reused pieces of aluminum foil. I don't think she would waste that. So that's what leads me to believe that this is a dramatization. Take your shot. If you want to save money, don't use dishwasher. It's expensive. Asian people, we don't use dishwasher. We use it for storage, but she use it to cook lasagna. I do believe that if you use a dishwasher with a full load every single time, it actually can save you money. Now, I'm not gonna do a cost breakdown, but uh, if you wash dishes like my mother-in-law does, where basically you stack all the dishes on top of each other, you put the soap on the top one, you wash it, and then you pour the soap into the bottom dish and wash it, and then take that dish and so on and so forth. I mean, <laughs> it's very, very efficient and cost savings. I'll give her that much. <laughs> oh no. Hey, Adrian. That not even like going to fan house. Look how dark her house is. <laughs> oh man, I'm def I'm having a lot more fun with this video than I expected. I was really like kind of bummed when I saw this was a TLC thing, but yeah, there's there's plenty to <laughs> to give my input on from a professional chef point of view. It's so fucking dark. I'm all watching in dark. I want to be embarrassed. <laughs> Hey, what? This is, this is the second time you did that! I gotta send money for electricity! I'm sorry! Okay, well, I have to turn it off. This is not commercial. real. This is... This nephew. <laughs> Uncle Roger feels so bad for him. This actually kind of funny now. <laughs> Even Auntie Helen never treat Uncle Roger this bad. And if your TV off, how you know when the game stop back up? Stephanie's very cheap. She's the person I've seen in a long time, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Oh. Come on. Oh my god, you don't even give your guests the light bulb candle for the restroom. Oh my god. I thought the walking around with the candle was really insane. Yeah, it very insane. Hi. Uh... Oh no, no. Oh god. Dishwasher fucking pasta. Hi. Botulism uh, filled fucking lasagna. <laughs> yeah, of course. Look at his face, <laughs> look at his face. That a face of fear. This guy face saying, I'm not gonna eat this shit. It uh, look gross. Yeah. Ew. 
<laughs> yeah, it's good, right? Oh. <laughs> Look at the little baby. Yeah, it's good, right? Even little babies say not good children, the most honest people. The dishwasher pasta is just child abuse. Uncle Roger need to apologize to Jamie Oliver <laughs> because I finally found something more disgusting than his egg fried rice. Holy <laughs> shit. The lime tastes like water. A-T-E-R, water. Nasty. The only thing that should taste like water is water. If your lasagna tastes like water, you fucked up. I, I don't think it necessarily tastes like water, but it definitely has more moisture than it should. If she put this in the oven where you have dry heat, even if you did put a layer of foil, a certain level of moisture will escape and then condense the flavors. Again, what do I keep telling you guys? The enemy of flavor is water. With this though, man, uh, you know, you're in a hot steam bath and it's filled with water. You know, of course it's gonna, yeah, man. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> Embarrassing. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, but no uh, shit. People are like, what the heck? She's pretty cheap. She treating you like animal, <gasps> little nephew. Leave this. Even wow. if he file for the wars, he not gonna get much. He gonna get half her stuff. <laughs> So what? Half a light bulb? Yeah, a lot of things were dramatized for this reality TV. I've experienced things like that firsthand, not quite this extreme, but either way, clearly very entertaining. I don't think it's very authentic. With that said, <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid to make mistakes because it can only make you stronger and hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. I'm Chef Ryan Sow, not your typical chef, and I'll see you really soon.